Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. So we've got these old um, fallen <coughs> ruins, I'm going to call it. Old fallen ruins from the balcony on the house, from the old veranda. Um, there's a lot of red brick here which I'll try and reuse uh, and there's lots of concrete with the rebar um, but we'll try and smash some of that up for hardcore steps which are broken try and again use that for hardcore uh, just trying to reuse what we can really and a good the good thing is by by using this I'm clearing it so I'm doing two jobs at once the internet people have just shown up so hopefully we'll have some internet they are see them up the pole there Having a jolly old good time. That's the internet for So it. they said they were going to come back this week. We didn't know it was going to be today, so quite happy about that. Hopefully we'll get the job done and we'll have some internet. Uh, that'd be great. Here's what we have. This is as good as I'm going to get it. Like with a sledgehammer. I don't have a whacker plate. I feel like something's better than nothing. So I'm going to pour some concrete in there. Put, I'm actually going to throw a metal cage down there. So I've got all this iron caging. So all this iron caging, I'm probably going to go for the like the gates. They seem to be like the best type of like kind of rebar material. So we'll chuck them in. And uh, that one as well. Chuck that down there. And then start whacking some concrete in there. I've no idea how to level concrete. Do I have to get in there? Like, do, do I have to get in the hole? I'm going to have to go on YouTube and have a look. Like... Because I've actually, uh, no idea. Let's have a look. Like our videos? Then leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Alright, what is the plan uh, today, this morning? A couple of days later from running out of cement um, and sand. Not so much cement, but the sand. Ran out of sand. Um, we're just in the process of trying to get some more delivered. We're also going to try and get some gravel as well because we need it for drainage. Um, in and around the pipes and then also on top of that we need it for trying to make the garden look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and to stop us from walking through mud when we come from the shower down to the caravan uh, so I want to create a little path and some sort of nice seating area so we're just in the process of trying to get that ordered so I can't really crack on with that until my sand comes which is annoying because I really want to get on with it but instead what I'm going to do is get on with trying to demolish the rest of this wall to harvest red bricks because we're poor and well quite honestly we do need to try our best to reuse where, where we can so we've got all these red bricks and all these red bricks here from this fallen wall that which was on the house it was an old veranda which i'm sure was quite lovely at some point which is a shame but we're going to take all these red bricks away and then harvest them to build the uh the septic tanks i worked really hard on stacking my bricks and they all just fell over I'm so devastated. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. What is the hardest thing so far about being here? Honestly, a couple of things. One of them is uh, shoveling in 35 degree heat. And then the other is, while I'm doing all of this, I know that Jordan's got to look after the babies and I know she's struggling because she's bored. Um, and every time it's always difficult because I want her to do the things that she wants to do, but in order for us to do the most basic thing of just going to the toilet, really it's, it's, it's not that she can't do it, because she can do it, but it's probably just at this stage now where I'm at quicker for me to just get on with it. It seems to be the reoccurring problem, you know, someone's got to watch the kids, someone's got to watch the kids. They always need, you know, face too young to not to be left alone. Leo helps where he can, but yeah, it's difficult. And she's hard work. <laughs> she's not easy. What's the plan with this, Jord? Path, isn't it? Path. And some sand. So we were trying to get it to separate because... Yeah, that went well, didn't it? it? Looks like a bloody beach. <laughs> Back in Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is quite sandy, though.
it or not, but I'm like, I'm dead happy with it. It's like the first thing, first base I've ever built, that's for sure. Played with concrete and stuff before, like for postcrete and stuff, but never done a base yet. So this is my first time. For a first attempt, it might fall apart. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. It's only for poo anyway. Da, 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 da. Couldn't look more tourist if I tried, to be fair. <laughs> hey, not too bad. Sorry about that. I reckon I've got this down, you know. What you brickies reckon? Would you take me on as a labourer for a day? Probably not. I'm working faster than some of your apprentices, aren't I? off to the airport going back to England two weeks party time no I'm joking I'm joking so. we just left Dada for our two nearly three hour wait at the airport the airport is miniature here <laughs> there is only one flight which is ours so at least we know we're in the right place um, how do we think Dada's feeling now Sad. Probably crying. Do you think he's crying? No, he's not. He's probably there going, freedom! Freedom! <laughs> I'm gonna get so much done, it's gonna be nice not having them around because I can actually like get things done. Give it a few days and he's gonna realise that he misses his family and his little bubba down there. So yeah, that's what I think. He best get a lot of stuff done though. Oh, well enough. It's going to be weird because we spend so much time together. Been with them for like two months solid. As much as they do wind me up, I will miss them. <laughs> it is getting difficult to get in and out of the hole, as I expected. Um, but we have this big saucepan to the rescue. And I'm going to put that on my step up and try not to die when I get in and out. I mean, we're getting there, aren't we? We're getting close now. Size of it. Oh, it's ready to kill me. Oh, it's a monster. Whose bloody idea was it to come to a country where the spiders are massive and there's loads of snakes? Very unmanly, but did you see it? It's carrying around a snowball in the middle of summer. I am exhausted. I've been up since 8am. It's half six now. And I ain't actually stopped. I had a bit of bread for lunch. I just I had to get the bricks done. Like it was bugging me that the bricks weren't done so that I couldn't move on to the rendering. It's doing my head in. So I just pushed through it all. But once it gets rendered you won't see any of it, so I don't even care. I just don't even care at this point. Render that up. That's about a two meter two meters deep. I just don't, I don't even have it in me to do anymore. I'm so tired. I just feel absolutely, absolutely drained. So, back in England, got this from a charity shop. Been waiting for a moment to really use it. A little hip flask, haven't used it. Opportunity has arisen to use it. The mayor, went down to the mayor's shop, right, he's got a shop in the village, has given me some of his homemade rakia. And he said to me, Malko, so which means small, little bit. So what he's trying to say is drink a little bit at a time. This is, he's poured it into a bottle for me. Um, looks like I'm about to drink some sort of cough syrup. I'm gonna give it a bash. Put it in my hip flask, see what the crack is, and go from there. All right. All right, let's stop about and try this. you right off oh, rocket fuel oh my god and it's time to do some some rendering 
and uh, I just noticed that I don't I don't have a hawk for rendering. So I've got a trowel here. I don't have a hawk. So I need, I'm going to manufacture one um, because we've got so much sheet metal here that it just seems silly to go and buy one. So I've got sort of all this type of stuff here. Uh, that's basically all it is, a bit of sheet metal. Just need to source a handle. Probably just use an old branch or something. I do. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that'll do. That's the old handle. There we go. And there it is. My makeshift hawk. <laughs> oh, stepping down onto me cooking pot. Interesting thing would be how do I get back out of here? I feel like I can lean this on the brick wall now. What do you reckon? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right. Oh, it's heavy. This came from here. So, found it in the shed. <laughs> oh, mate. I don't even know how to use this. <laughs> My brother took me plastering one and uh, I went with him for the day. It's more, I didn't use a hawk though, so that was an utter fail. Um, I just chucked half of it on the floor, so that was bad, wasn't it? Every plasterer slash renderer just losing their shit watching me trying to do this. That'll be the funny video to watch. Every single one of them going, oh my god, stop it! Suddenly I know that there's gale force winds here. I don't know what's happened, but I was just doing my cement. It's come out of nowhere, it was so sunny. Me cement, not my cement. No way, this is mad. What, what is going on? My cement. Oh, Dave, my cement. It's my last bang. Oh, my days. Right, Marubes. After a lot of uh, rendering, I'm on the final wall of the inside. This is what we're looking like so far. Hard to really show you. This is a final wall. This is all I've got left to do. Um, but this is what I've done. So you can see, roughly, I've rendered all the walls on the inside. Just this final bit. Once this is done, I'll be quite happy and content knowing that the inside, knowing that this is watertight, is kind of the main thing. The outside I can render a, bit, a little bit later. Once I've got the inside rendered, the main thing that I'm going to do next is I'm going to start digging the, the tunnel, the, the trenches for the piping so that we have a flushing toilet. That's really kind of the main thing. And once I know that the system works, it flushes, it runs into here, then I'll put a lid on um, and then go from there, really. I finished. <laughs> I'm Spartan! Yes! Love it. Sun is shining, the weather is... Something, something. So I've done some shopping and it has come to the time when we needed to buy the toilet uh, because I can't start beating holes into the ground <laughs> until I know what where my holes are going to be and uh, now and we have now invested in a brand new toilet it wasn't too expensive it's about 80 pound uh, for the whole thing so yeah, brand new, 80 quid. I've never sat on a brand new toilet before, so that should be uh, an enjoyable, enjoyable moment. But yeah, it just gives me something else to get to work on. Astra Sorry, David came, came down the driveway to tell me, um, to tell me he'd bought this. Uh, which I'm super grateful for. Onions as well, I didn't see that. Oh, that's mint. Love that. So yeah, people will just walk down the driveway here and they'll say, um, oh yeah, by the way, bought you some stuff to eat, which is great because I love it. Um, and that's the, the real benefits of living in a, in a farming village. I love it so much. I made a hole in the wall. It's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was just going to make a nice little hole for a tube. You know, knock out a few stones. Look at that. The size of that absolute monster. The problem is, it's big, absolute monster lumps of stone. So you don't just knock a few bricks out. You've got to get your way around all these little nooks and crannies in the in the stonework. And 
and then if you've got an absolute monster brick in the way you've got to get it out of the way there's nothing you can really do about it unless you've got something that's going to cut this rock which i don't you've got to knock it out and and it's a lump so yeah so here's my hole <laughs> the plan now is to get obviously the toilet in and then see how I'm going to get a tube out there and uh, and just get everything kind of put the bricks back in I guess and cement them back in so that obviously we don't have that huge hole there that's funny isn't it right mate listen up I'm about to use a tool that I ain't used before it's a jackhammer digging this trench for the best part of three days. I think it's safe to say, oh, my body's giving up. My back hurts, blisters all over my hands, falling over. It's, it's a lot for one person to do. Take a digger about an hour to do this, I reckon, probably less. I'm done. I can't dig anymore. Got nothing left. Third day, just I can't do it. So, Mr. Digger Man is here. He's coming to dig me some stuff, some trenches. That's got a little plow on the back as well. Lovely. Dig, 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 baby, dig. <laughs> The truth and the reality is, had I got this guy to come out and dig me some trenches the first time, I'd have a working toilet by now, but I didn't. And in future, I'll make sure I do it, because it was silly. What he did in two hours took me like three to four days to dig, and, and he did more than I did. He did more. I couldn't have done what he's done today, so yeah, lesson learned. Um, so yeah, he's dug that trench a lot deeper. Um, here. Where it's a hill, we are very deep. But I think I made the right decision in going deep, as, I, as deep as I could with that tube. And now we've, uh, we've got some deep trenches here, running all the way along. And then this is where all of our, our piping is gonna go. So this is for the, uh, the perforated piping that's gonna go down there. So yeah, I'd say we're, uh, we're making progress, good progress, which is the best thing. I'm off to go and pick up Jordan, Leo and Faith from the airport for Plovdiv now. So I'm just uh, just driving the motor there. And yeah, I'm super excited. Not even a day, not even a day of rest for poor mama. What's wrong? Got me in the trenches. I need workers. Rabonetsi. Huh? Rabonetsi. I think it's workers in Bulgaria. Workers? <laughs> Rabotnitsi. Oh, that's it. R Rabotnitsi. That's right, the one. Ah, really windy day today. And it's almost making everything difficult. Even from. I'll get close to the camera because it's so loud. Even from just making a coffee and stuff in the morning, maybe try, just try simple things like cooking your breakfast. Really difficult, and it makes you think. What if it was really cold, and what if it was raining, and what if this wind was blowing down? How much more would you want to stay in the caravan at this point? And the truth is, you really wouldn't want to, because we do all of our cooking outside, we make our coffees outside, we sit outside for dinner. You know, yes, we can do some of those things inside, but it becomes an absolute ball ache. So, it really makes you want to get in the annex. It's time to shout out our Patreons. We just want to say a huge thank you for taking the time to sign up to our Patreon page. So firstly, let's go ahead and bring those people up. And we just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for supporting us, for supporting our page, being a part of this journey with us. It really does mean a lot. We thank all of you. 
The page that we've created is just a little bit of something back for the time and the efforts that we do put into creating all these great videos for you guys. But we do go a little bit further with this and we do put a little bit more effort into the Patreon page and we put behind the scene videos up. We do have a new video vlog feature up where we're asking the people who support us what they would do with specific parts of the land, specific buildings on our what would you do video vlog. If you want to get involved, the link will be down in the description. Go ahead, go check it out. Please keep watching our videos. We really do appreciate your support. I think I might have f***ed set the tank. I don't even want to record right now. filled it with water so that it would like get a foothold and then tomorrow I'm back filling it and putting uh, sand and cement in it around the outside of it but whilst filling with the water I think the water's leaked out from somewhere on the tank and then it seeped underneath and then all the foundations below it have fallen and the tanks tipped to one side that pipe was joined to that pipe Look at the angle of this. This was parallel to that. Look at how out of level the whole tank is. It's tipped over to one side. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to save it. But now I know that the tank's out of level. Now I know that this pipe's sitting much higher than that pipe. This pipe on this side sits much higher than this pipe on this side. So the whole tank is doing that. And I don't know what the implications of that are going to be. <laughs> So basically what I've done so far since the tank has sunk into the ground. So I've concreted all of the outer base um, all the way around, even around there. Because essentially what's happened is the tank has tipped that way. I now have to lower the outlet um, pipe so that it's lower than the inlet pipe so that it allows water to go out. Otherwise, it would just spew out of the top of the, the tank. Um, so I have no intentions on knocking it down. I have no intentions on starting again. I'm going to fill all these edges with sand and cement. All around here, all around here will be filled with sand and cement all the way to the top. And that will hopefully be compact enough to stop water leaking out and also to do its job, essentially. Now it. Break. Hard labour. She's got it, nailed it. <sighs> finally, finally after all this time, done. And it has been back breaking. It, back breaking is just, even, it's just an understatement to be fair. <sighs> so I've just backfilled the tank, filled it all up. It's taken days. But yeah, along the way I had some help from Adam and and Tom with filling in the trenches, uh, but the backfilling I've done myself has been pretty exhausting, to be fair. Jordan chipped in, did a few, but I'm ready to, I'm ready to stop. This is it. Filled in. I never ever want to see this thing ever again, ever. Next time on From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. Today's been a big decision, hasn't it, Jord? So we're actually going to move into the house. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Bring it out here. You're buzzing about that, aren't you? I really am, because there's so many. Look at all the records here. How's the sand? <laughs> he is a braver man than me. So for the first time, we're going to turn this on. I'm sorry if it doesn't work. We believe in you, Dada. Hello.